Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best setting in Baran. First of all, the setting I'm gonna talk about is the map setting. Well, a lot of people didn't know, but actually there's a lot of setting you can do to the map. And the best setting I found for the map is like you need to turn on the map setting. Yep, here. The map setting you need to set the big keep player center off. Like what that do is that if the default is on, like, let's see if you're on, you cannot see a side. You see that you cannot see a side off. But if you keep center off, you can actually see the whole side. But if you can, I mean, see the whole map. But if you want to see the whole map, you need to follow my scale setting. So my scale setting is uh, minimum size is 1.2, and the minimap zoom is 1, 0.7. So if you set 1.207 and keep the center off, you can actually see the whole map like, on all the map. And the other thing is you need to see the, the show map vision name. Set it to always. I think default is always at all. Because if you set it to always, you can actually fall easily. Like you can see you're on C long now under the map that you can see. Like you can see where you are. And you can actually, if you notice that if like someone say fuck or something, you might not able to see that word if you don't have the uh, language filter off. The default is on. If it's on, you cannot see that. You see that? If you off, then you can see that. But do take note that if you have kids playing on your PC, then it's better you just keep it. I mean, on your account, then it's better to keep it on, so they won't expose to like you know toxic and stuff like that. And the the last thing on this page I'm gonna talk about is the most important one because recently. I mean, for easier player, we're having a lot of experience of like lagging, DC, and all those kind of thing. For me, I can like get like five to ten or more DC per game, like if it has happened. Like if I'm lucky, there's no DC. But if I'm very bad luck, then I get DC at least five times or like, more than ten times. So fix that lag issue. You can actually this network buffering. The default setting is minimum, but I can change it to moderate. Like what it does in the minimum setting, there was some the like the server packet like how the server and the player receive your packet like where how you move and stuff like that. If you set the minimum, the default value is minimum. If you set the minimum, minimum is like one to eight ticks, like which is the Varan default server tick rate. But if you change to moderate, moderate according to Google, according to Google moderate setting for Varan is like running at sixty four tick. So sixty four tick is like the setting for CS:GO server. So it's like more like you know, more stable. I don't get DC very often if I'm using moderate. Well, Varan say that they're using the best server, the 128X, but actually 12x for Varan is quite good because like sometimes you can get DC and network problems and stuff like that. But if you change to moderate, it will send the packet in 64 bit, I mean 64 tick, and then it's actually like less laggy and less no issue. But maximum is not recommend because maximum is like very low, like they send the packet in very low value. So you can try out if, if moderate doesn't work for you, then you can change the maximum. But minimum is not recommend because like minimum even on good internet, like I'm using Python map on the LAN cable, I can still get DC. So that's the thing. And then I'm gonna talk about control setting. Control setting like for MOS operator, I mean not MOS but like for operator like Jack, you know, like third scale. Like, if you set to your mouse, like if you have a gaming mouse with two buttons at the side, you can set your mouse and you can set your more easily, you know. It's like more useful and you can set your mouse setting as well. It's easier to use the, like some character, you know, it's easier to use this way. So you can bind to your mouse, it's easier to use them and you can activate them faster. And there's also this very interesting setting in the movement. You can actually change the default movement mode to walk. So you can walk like all the time and only like run when you are using shift. This I think is quite useful if you want to like play silent all the time, you know. But you might not get used to it at first, but this setting is quite good and I think a lot of people might not know this, but this setting is kind of good. I don't think a lot of games implement this, but I can actually turn this on to you know walk. Default movement walk then you can use the shift to run. So that's like one of the hidden settings people might not know. This is like the good. And then the, the last tips for the setting is you can set your communication key to your mouse key as well. So you can actually like talk easier like using your second mouse button. You can talk easier. So that's all the tips for the best for run setting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for more video coming soon and please subscribe for more video like this. 
Thank you.